Hey guys, I saw a cool video on YouTube about Seth Rogen. He uh, made these flat burgers on Hot One. He was showing about how he like smashes them down and then folds them in half. So I'm gonna show you today an idea that I had how to do it and it comes out amazing. There's something about a thin flat burger, Seth Rogen was right, that it's just amazing. So today I'm gonna show you my little trick that's so cheap. You just need two cutting boards and I have a wood one and it's like nothing. So here we go today. So I already got the meat flattened out right here and I'll kind of show you. So if you take two plastic cutting boards with fully unthawed hamburger, whatever fat you want, and you take it, lay it on like this, take a bigger cutting board or your hands and you press it down like this, then you got a nice flat burger. Then I cut it in half with a pizza cutter. And it's very fucking thin. See that? So this hamburger, I'm gonna cook, I cut this in half with a um, pizza cutter. So one of these is my girlfriend's and one of them is mine. We're gonna cook that. And then when it's done cooking, you're gonna fold that in half with cheese in between. It's fucking amazing. I did this yesterday. This is the second day in a row. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Well, here we go. So we've got some delicious meat going on might want a big metal spatula. I don't have one of those. So I'm gonna do this a little more difficult today, but there's other ways to do this, but. So yeah, flatten this meat out, we'll throw it on the grill, and yeah. Use the other cutting board underneath it. Yeah, we could use this other cutting board, kinda of scoop it up. Make sure your pan's oiled too. I'm using just a basic burner with on two of them. This makes it work good. I also, I did this yesterday on a, a cast iron pan and it worked out really good. But the more room you have, the better it is. We got to get a metal spatula, but a little bit of trial and error on video. So we got this one laid out. Maybe I didn't get it cut good enough. That's all right. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Put that meat on there. Man, oh shit. Well, that one didn't work out too well. I guess it's better if you have a big metal spatula, but we don't have one of those because we're new to this, but kind of see you flatten it out really good. And then once it's cooked, fold it over and put the cheese on it. All right, so the first one was kind of a success, but I, my girlfriend realized something. When you do these burgers, the best thing I think we should do is uh, flatten it between two parchment paper and then freeze it for a little bit so it holds itself together when you put it on the burner. We didn't do it this time. This is just trial and error, but I thought I'd share it with you because it's a cool idea. It's really good. So I'm gonna do this one. We'll see how well it works, but yeah. Put two pieces of parchment paper, throw it in the freezer for like 15 minutes, my girlfriend came up with, and then put it on the burner. So this one, we didn't do it this time, and it kind of suctions itself to the cutting board because I flattened it, but we'll see how this one goes. I kind of got it lifted up, but yeah. Freeze it and throw it on there. So here we go with the second one. See how well this works. Next time we're gonna try that parchment paper and freezing. But for now, this is what we got. All right, see if I can mess this one up. All right, that one came out pretty good. There we go. So now, we'll cook this till one side's done cooking. Then we'll uh, flip it, and then when both sides are cooked, uh, we'll fold it in half and then put the cheese and we'll have a delicious burger. Something about the thin meat, it's so good. Yeah, definitely need to freeze this next time. So there's some tips for you guys to avoid the headache that I just had with my last burger, but it turned out good, my girlfriend likes it. You know what's really good also in these is uh, Munster cheese. Uh, I like cheddar cheese, but this Munster cheese this comes uh, in slices. It's really good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's really cool if you uh, have them. You know, you can do it in this cast iron pan, but uh, I recommend getting a big grill. You can use an electric one. You can use anything that's got good heat. Make sure you get this pan good and oiled. Yeah, I want to make sure that side's really cooked before I flip it. Yeah, I come to the conclusion also that uh, I need to go get me a nice big metal spatula, pick that thing up and flip it. But I don't have one. This is a new thing. All right, I think it's almost cooked. All right, let's see if that's cooked enough. We'll try to do a flippy do. Since I don't have a big spatula, I'm also using a wood scraper. That kind of helps too to pick up one end of it. Give it a flippy do. Bam! We got pancake meat. Meat. All right, we got the thing cooked. Take some of our Munster cheese. Stick it on there. Fold this bad boy in half. Like this. Bam. And you got yourself a delicious hamburger. Got some toasted buns. Put some pickles on that. Some lettuce. Some mustard mayonnaise. Whatever you like. And uh, you got a good hamburger. Alright. Well, we got the meat all done. The cheese is all melted. Put some uh, mustard. I'm not a big mayo and lettuce and pickle fan. I'm I'm just kind of a simple guy, so I'm just going to do mustard on mine. All right. This bad boy on there. The buns are a little small. Next time we'll probably get some bigger buns, you know, just trial and error. All right. Well, look at that. Delicious. More meat than the bun, but, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Next time we'll have to get way bigger buns. <laughs>